So the next level of formulas in Excel is actually when we use combined formulas with cell referencing. Um, this allows us to, to make more complex um, formulas. Um, so let's have a look at how we can do that. Again, it's a formula, so I'm going to press F2, and I'm basically going to do a calculation which um, looks at the general mean sea levels and then allows for this uncertainty, which will take take the lower and the upper proper upper values of what the um, general mean sea level is here. So to do that calculation, I'm going to click here and I'm going to go equals and I'm going to reference. What I want is I want to go cell B2. So I can type B2 and then I can say cell B2 minus cell C2. So I can go C2 and that will actually do the calculation. You can see it's actually highlighting the cells there on the screen and showing you what um, showing you which cells are actually involved and the color code will show you there. So if I go enter, that now gives you the value of cell B2 and C2, which is allowing for uncertainty, gives us the lowest possible level of what the general mean C level is for that time. So that's the minimum. Let's do the maximum. So again, I want to do another formula, but this time I want to add this C2 to B2. And I'm going to show you a different way of doing it, which is a little bit quicker. So if I say equals, and if I just click on cell B2, Excel will automatically put the value in there. If I press plus, and then I click on C2, again, it'll put the value in there, press enter. So I've done those two calculations. So anywhere that you have a number in a formula can actually be also represented by a cell reference. Um, and so that way they can actually um, you can reference a whole lot of different values. Now the power of Excel is what if we sit there and said, okay, wait a second, we've actually got more detailed information now. So I'm going to change this uncertainty level and I'm going to, to instead say it's going to be 20. So I'm just going to click in here and go 20. And when I press enter, you'll notice that F2 and G2 values will change. Rightio, because it's done a recalculation. Every time you change a value in the cell, Excel will recalculate all the values within the, within the entire spreadsheet. So that is how you go about doing um, formulas with cell references.